hey, sorry if I sound a little funny, because that's because I'm sick with strep. I went to the doctor's on Wednesday, and I found out on Friday. And I had to take my day off work on Friday, so that I could start to recover. If you hear background noise, that's because my uh, parents are downstairs. I don't know why I'm doing the video now. I should wait until they're asleep, or I should have done it before they came home. But you know, it just didn't happen. Well, I have to take this lovely pill right here for strep. I have to take I have to take this stuff here for day, sign of pain and pressure, headache, fever, nasal congestion, night, sign of pain and pressure, headache, fever, nasal congestion, runny nose, and sneezing. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then I have to take my usual ADHD pill that looks like shit. Then I have to take my vitamin, my multivitamin with iron in it because I fully don't get enough iron, which looks like shit and tastes like shit. It's so lovely. And I have a whole like pharmacy thing in here. It's like ridiculous because I get hurt so much. Yeah. Those pills I got to three times a day. It so annoying. Excuse me. I should try to not cough for like five minutes so I can make this video. Apparently my throat doesn't want to cooperate. Anyway, we'll just forget about it and jump into the questions. Were you were we ever confused about our sexuality? I was very confused. In grade eight, when I at the end of grade eight when I was checking out girls, I was like, there must be something wrong with me. I have issues and I shouldn't be feeling this way or whatever. And and then I started to come to accept myself that <coughs> Oh my goodness. I started to come to accept myself that yeah indeed I did um I did like girls and there was nothing wrong with it. Then later on I realized that there was something called bisexuality and that I was bisexual. But then, later on, I was having trouble, like, accepting myself and I was having trouble working through it and stuff. And it was hard for me. So, so what I did was I had so much trouble accepting that I didn't like guys at all. And I finally, beginning-ish of this year, I kind of finally was like, hey, I do like, I do like, um, um girls. And on, in my chan, on my channel, I have a, the, my coming out video, which basically explains everything you need to know about me and my sexuality. When did we get around that or work through it? As I said, I worked through it by helping myself realize, by going on the internet and learning about all this information and learning about things and trying to, you know, come out and trying to figure out who I am and who I like. And after I came out as gay, I found more and more things. And then I realized I might not be gay. Oh my goodness, I just told everybody. And I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, I just told everybody. Well, I wasn't embarrassed, but I was like, shit, I just told everybody. And they thought it was fine. Now they think I'm gay. And now they don't know. So I was like, okay, whatever. And I went online and tried to figure this out and realized that I was gay. And that I like, well, I actually like everybody except for guys. As I said in other videos. As I said in the last video, I think it was, yeah, it was the last video. So, I worked around it by trying to accept it for myself, talking to people online that were um, gay and were bi and things like that, and trying to figure, sorry, I'm so out of it, trying to figure out what, um, 
like trying to figure out how they fig- how they came to accept themselves and how they did it, and if they can give me advice. First kiss. This is an interesting one. My first kiss was we have a little tiny room off of the off of our math room in our high school, which I got sent all the time to do my work because it's easier for me to work in there. And this dude who I thought I liked who actually I went out with for a while. Um, he, he went in there with me. He was my first boyfriend, by the way. Or my first relationship, by the way, but, um, he went in there with me, and we were talking on MSN, and I was like, you know, I've never had a first kiss, I've never hung hands with anybody, blah, blah, blah. So he came up to me, and he was like, he, he leaned in, and I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, shh. It's gonna be okay. Just, just go with it. And then we kissed. And then after he was like partway through, he was like, "How is this?" And I was like, "I guess it's fine." And we kept kissing. And I was so excited. And he basically showed me that. And I was all freaked out before this. And he showed me that it's not a big deal, and it's something that you can come to enjoy. And I didn't even think, ew, touching someone else's lips, like, ew, I'm not going to enjoy that. And then I realized, like, yeah, I'm going to, like, start to enjoy this. And I did. First girlfriend slash boyfriend relationship. My first boyfriend relationship was this dude that I kissed, Matt. He was my first boyfriend relationship, and he abused me the whole entire time, and I did not like that at all. So I kind of really don't even want to talk about it. He was just a big complete like jerk about it and he was dating some girl he was dating his ex-girlfriend while he was dating me and he's dating her now and after and all those things. I don't know it's, it's really confusing but he pretty much was not a fun guy was not a nice guy to be around and after three weeks it was like more like two and a half weeks we broke up and it took him like five million times for him to realize that we were broken up and he kept asking me, why aren't you talking to me, why aren't you talking to me? And then keep telling him, like, we're done, like, get over it. And he kept asking me, is it because of a girl? And I was like, what girl? Nobody. I don't like anybody. You're just a big asshole. Just like, accept the fact that you're a jerk and you fucking abused me, like, verbally and physically. Get over it. Just leave. When did you first realize? I first realized that I liked girls at the end of grade 8 when I started looking at, when I was starting to look at girls in a different light and looking at them in ways like, ooh, she has a nice ass. Wow, it's really indigging her, like, her personality. And I just, like, was so intrigued by all of this and about, about people, about their personalities and how like interesting they were like I wanted to spend more time with them not on the friend level but like I first thought it was like a weirdo as I said before but then I began to realize that I wasn't a weirdo at all and that I wanted to become their friend more than their friend I wanted to get to know them and I wanted to be part of them like it was the most like interesting and unique they were almost like I was like wow like big people they're so pretty they're like cute and all this type of stuff and I kept looking at them and then that's when I realized I liked girls. Hope you like my video and I hope to get better soon after all of these lovely pills three times a day. I hope I'll get better soon. Thanks for watching. First kiss. Um, well, this is an interesting one. Uh, my mom is coming up. Well, nope.